colony. The protests that rocked the city for much of 2019 are what Beijing is trying to stop those pro-democracy demonstrations by banning, quote, acts of treason, secession, and subversion. But many say this will end the one country, two systems principle, which was Beijing's promise to Great Britain that it would leave Hong Kong semi-autonomous until 2047. Washington, D.C. is now condemning Beijing, but so far Beijing is ignoring those demands. Well, it's been a very warm day across the Miami Valley. We experienced some showers that moved through the Miami Valley uh, later on, or excuse me, this evening. And now we're seeing more quiet conditions across the area. Temperatures are still pretty warm. We're sitting into the middle 70s across the Miami Valley. 72 degrees in Troy, 73 degrees in Sydney. We are a bit cooler in Springboro, coming in at about 69 degrees. Temperatures will gradually fall into the middle 60s overnight but then quickly warm right back up as we head into your more your memorial day forecast temperatures as we head into tonight we will see those overnight lows faults right around uh, 67 degrees or so we will stay dry as we head into tonight we'll see some partly cloudy skies across the miami valley live doppler 7 we're skiing the skies for you every 60 seconds we have some light shower activity that's occurring mainly in warren and clinton counties right around just south of springfield as well and light shower activity back towards Indiana. A lot of this will continue to diminish as we head throughout the rest of the next few hours or so, and we will see quiet and dry conditions across the Miami Valley. The Memorial Day rain chances, we will have a good dry start to the day, and we'll have a good chunk of dry time before we start to track the chance for some showers and thunderstorms to move through the Miami Valley. So if you would like to get outside and maybe take the dog for a walk or maybe do your exercise early, I suggest doing so because we'll be cooler in the morning, and those temperatures Temperatures will really begin to increase as we head towards the afternoon and evening, and along with those rain chances. In fact, by 2 p.m. and continuing on into the evening, that's when we will be tracking those spotty showers and thunderstorms to move through the Miami Valley. Let's go ahead and break that down for you right now, and I'll paint that picture for you. You can see sunshine and clouds as we take you through your morning and afternoon. Right around that 2 o'clock mark, you can see those pop-up showers and thunderstorms that will be possible. Notice that it's during the peak heating time of the day. We will continue to track showers and a few thunderstorms as we head into the evening. It's not going to be a washout by any means, so just be sure to keep an eye to the sky if you have to run in if you hear a thunderstorm coming your way. As we head into Monday night, we lose the daytime heat and the chance for showers and thunderstorms goes away and we will be quiet and dry. Temperatures will be climbing into the middle 80s as we head into your Memorial Day forecast and then fall into the 70s as we head towards the latter part of the evening. It will be a good pool day, warm temperatures. Just keep in mind of the spotty showers and thunderstorms that will develop into the afternoon and evening. And along with that, keep in mind that the UV index will be very high tomorrow. We're coming in about at a 9, so be sure to block up to avoid getting sunburned because you don't want that to happen and start off with the weird week with a sunburned skin. The five-day forecast for you, temperatures will continue to stay into the 80s through about Thursday. We'll keep the storm chances each day. Day, but we'll have a drier weekend as we look towards this upcoming weekend, especially into Saturday and Sunday. It will be slightly cooler, though, with temperatures into the 70s. The New York Stock Exchange.